the sunshine. <sighs> Whoopee! It's so hard! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting one. It's gonna be one of my ultimate favorite asanas. It's our compass pose, but we're gonna be doing this actively. So I will show you lots of tips and tricks, and it'll be fun. We're gonna have some back bends also in this one, and we're gonna be mobilizing a lot of our joints, and this is really a good one for strengthening your lower body. All right, so grab yourself your yoga mat and some socks, because we're gonna be sliding around. That's up to you. All right, let's begin. But before we begin, if you're new here, hello, my name is Regina, and thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Hit that notification bell so that you get notified for a new class. And if you ever end up enjoying this class, make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. That would help me a lot. And let's begin. <laughs> All right, let's start in Sukhasana, the easy cross-legged seated position. Find your cross-legged wherever on your mat. Let's take a moment to feel our bodies. Ground ourselves. Breathe. Sit up nice and tall. Notice your body. How are you feeling right now? Are you ready to work on your lower body? Breathe. Now find stillness with your breath and your mind. Don't think about anything, just think about your breath. Focus on how fast or how slow your breath is right now. And we're gonna be working on our bodies today. And open your eyes. Welcome to your practice. Thank you so much for being here. Let's breathe in, reach our hands up overhead. Palms to touch and exhale. You're gonna bring your hands down in front of you. Exhale. Good. Now stretch some more, reach more forward, breathe in, and exhale to fold all the way down. Melt on the mat. Breathe in. Exhale, coming back up to your center. Torso up. And again, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, you're gonna bend to the right. Drop the right hand down and bend to the right side. Ah, good. Whew. Now again, reach as you inhale. And exhale, bend some more. Maybe dropping now the forearms if that feels good. Make sure that your sit bones are grounded, okay? So if you feel that your left cheek, butt cheeks already uh, lifting up, stay Grounded and lift a bit your torso, right? Just to where you can keep your butt cheeks grounded. Good, stretch some more. Eventually, as you get deeper and flexible or more flexible, you'll be able to really bend all the way like this. Hello. <laughs> all right, coming back up to center. That's a good, nice side bend. Breathe in, reach both hands up. We're gonna do that on the other side. Exhale, bend to the right side. Left hand drops down and stretch here. Ooh, reach. Again, inhale, find length. Exhale, bend some more. Again, keep the sit bones grounded. Maybe looking up. All right, back to center. Whew. And this time, we're gonna reach up and exhale behind you. I'm gonna face the side so you can see me. All right. Now from here, you're gonna puff out your chest, look up, and maybe you can drop the fingertips down on the mat or your knuckles. Look up and breathe. Gentle back bend. And maybe you can wiggle some uh, your body here. See how that feels. Hmm, the sun is nice. All right. 
Now this time, left hand reaches up, breathe in. Exhale, bend the left elbow. Now you're gonna grab that left elbow with the right hand and pull it towards all the way to the right side. Good. From here, you're gonna stretch and straighten the left hand. Good, so you're still pulling the elbow down. Both sit bones are still grounded. All the way back to your center. And let's do that on the other side. Breathe in, right hand reaches up. Bend the right elbow, exhale. Again, grab that right elbow with the left hand and pull it towards the left. Breathe in. Exhale, release and straighten that right arm. Whoo, shaking. All right, now release, coming back onto your center. Beautiful job. All right, now we're gonna find our tabletop. Okay, we're gonna warm up first, and it doesn't have to be perfectly stacked here, but we're just gonna shift our weight forwards and backs, okay? Making sure that, you know, your fingers are open, spreading wide, so that you could really firmly root down also your base knuckles. You could even play with this if you like that spider fingers by bending your fingers this way. Or maybe flatten. Just find what works best for you. I want you to really feel each part of your hand, your wrists, and your fingertips. Just breathing normally as you do this. Good. Coming back to your tabletop, and we're gonna round our back all the way. Just breathe normally here. Tuck your chin to your clavicle. Good. And then just puff out your chest, drop your belly and your chest down. Look up. Breathe. And just a quick warm up with our backs. Good. Now extend all the way your hands forward. Good. From here, you're going to roll yourself forward. Now you're going to drop your belly on the mat. Just your belly. Your rib cage is still up. Right? Okay. From here, spread your fingers wide and you're going to peel your shoulders back as you do this baby cobra waves. Starting with small waves. And then maybe you're like slowly lifting higher, right, with your spine. So feel your own body. You could even wiggle yourself left and right. And as you continue to just breathe. Whew, good. Now I want you to get your seal pose. Extend your hands all the way forward, straighten your elbows, and lift your chest and ribs up from the mat. Point the toes all the way and your tops of your feet firmly planted or rooting down. Also the thighs and knees, right? So feel every part of your body from your head down to your feet. Straighten your elbows and peeling all the chest up, right? Waking up that back. Who is to stretch your spine and drop all the way down. Good. Let's uh, activate our back muscles in our locus pose. So hands will be interlaced behind you. Index finger will point back. Okay. As you lift and straighten the elbows, lifting the hands from the bum, you're going to peel your chest from the mat. Back bend. Breathe in. Exhale. Lift the legs all the way up. Open the toes or the legs wide. Good. Open. And now you're going to start to pulse. Now you're just going to breathe normally here and you're going to pulse. You could exhale, exhale, exhale as you pulse back. So you're not pushing really hard. Just do where you could keep that end range, right? So just there, you feel that in your back. Good. Release, push back. Child's pose to rest. Ooh, breathe. Roll your spine forward. Lift your hips up and then roll it back. 
Roll again forward. This time, as you reach your tabletop, adjust yourself. I want your left knee to your chest. Good. Stay here. Three, two, one. You're going to send that left foot inside of the left hand first. Coming to your low lunge. Good. And stay there. <laughs> Breathe. Good. Now you're going to push back. Half splits. And push forward, low lunge. Again, Ida Hanumanasana, Anjaneyasana. Beautiful. Continuing to just do that motion. Good. From your half splits, stay there. You're gonna send the left hand inside of that left foot. Good, both hands. Now you're gonna scoot that left foot outside now, all the way, as much as your flexibility allows. There, and then adjust your hands now, shoulders distance, and maybe stacked onto your shoulders. Okay, stay here. And we're stretching. <laughs> Good. All right, now all the way, you're gonna come up here, your torso coming to the fingertips. You're gonna have your left hand now onto your left leg. So it doesn't matter wherever on your leg, but you're just gonna lift your torso up, reach your right hand all the way up, breathe in, and exhale, you're gonna reach for that left toes, but you're not really reaching, just try your best. We're just side stretching here and opening that left uh, leg, inner thighs. Or inner thigh but we are if we're a lot it's thighs <laughs> all right coming back up Woo! now from here you're gonna interlace your fingers behind you index finger will be pointing down as you peel your shoulders back now you're gonna lift that toes left toes up so left heel is grounded right so you're just peeling the shoulders you're not really arching a lot but you're still back bending here but you're not dropping is what I mean right so it's just keep that peeled shoulders back Root that left heel all the way. Feel that back stretch of your left leg. And release, good. Hands down, coming back to your tabletop. Beautiful job. Now again, let's roll our spine some more. Let's make our spine very fluid. Just keep on rolling forward and back as you breathe. All right, push all the way back. This time, as you push forward to your tabletop, you're gonna lift the right knee simultaneously. Simultaneously, ready? Three, two, and one. Lift the right knee up, good, and then drop. We're doing this differently. Three, drop. You're kind of tapping now the arm with the knee. And last one, hold it here for five. Four, three, two, point the toes, and one. Drop that right foot inside of the right hand. Beautiful, low lunge. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Now we're going to do a, again a different approach. Reach your hands all the way up. Breathe in. Exhale. You're going to lift your torso up and your hips up. Okay. Stay there. Breathe. Okay. Sink deeper. Hips down. Beautiful. And up. Okay. We're doing this for five. Sink down and up. Four. Down, up three, down, up two, down, and up. So, so you're kind of uh, getting that neutral pelvic tilt as you lift up, right? So you're not anterior tilting. Send that hips in. Good. Hold, hold, and drop both hands down as you push back. Strain the front knee coming to your half splits. Beautiful. I want that right foot really planted firmly on the mat first. Breathe. Good. Now coming to your Anjani Asana, sink the hips lower and maybe foot, scoot it more forward. Good. Sink deeper. Good. Now as you push back, coming to your Ida Hanumanasana, now you're going to lift that right toes, heel firmly down. Good. Feel that right stretch. Or right leg stretch. <laughs> All right, for a deeper stretch, let's grab that outside of the right foot with the left hand, and then you're gonna send it towards the midline, gently here. Good, 
you feel that in your IT band, right? On the side of that right leg. Ooh, beautiful stretch. All right, release back to that center. And from here, you're gonna have the right hand inside of that right leg. Now slide it outside and drop the foot down. Beautiful job. Now you're gonna plant firmly your hands down on the mat. Just stack onto your shoulders. Now, you're going to slide it to where you can keep that right leg straight. Just slide it and then lift your torso up. Take a deep breath in. Reach both hands up. And exhale, interlace your fingers behind you. And puff out your chest. Peel the shoulders back. Maybe now looking up. Good. Stay there. Three. Two. And one, beautiful, release. Drop the hands down and this time you're gonna bend the right knee. So now this is very wide stance, right? From this bent knee, you're gonna have that right shoulder underneath this right um, leg. Okay, right hand will now be outside of the right hand. Okay, from here, you're just gonna try to straighten the left leg, okay? So this might slide down, it doesn't really matter. You're just sandwiching your arm with that right leg. And then you're just like opening this really, the inner thigh and the left leg, you feel that, right? So now left hand will sweep all the way up and then drop it down. Let's do this four, five. Down, four, down, three, down, two, down one good job now release slowly Woo! good all the way and stretch some more straighten that front knee and push back stretch your arms even here good now bend both of your knees push forward as you send the right leg back now all the way, hands down, and we're gonna transition to our puppy pose. So maybe forehead drops down first. Eventually, as you exhale, with each exhalation, you're gonna drop the chest and chin down on the mat. And then reach more forward. Extend, extend your hands more forward, bend the back, lift the head up. And if it's comfortable for you, you could drop the chin. Sometimes I like to have my uh, hands touch my arms, upper arm, as I rest my chin on my wrist or just the arms. This allows for that like, you know, back bend. We're always looking down. So this is great for your cervical spine. All right. Now release, extend your hands forward if you did that extended or like same thing with me and then grab or drop the hands next to your chest as you push all the way up and to your Vajrasana or seated position. Good. Now puff out your chest, have your hands touch your knees, look up, breathe. Good. Now I want you to feel your body here. Which leg for you is more kind of like stretched and opened up? Mine is the right side, right? So I want you to get a feel of that. Close your eyes and just like take a feel or maybe touch your leg, your hip, just to get a feel of that. You always want to go like check back in, right? Okay, coming into our downward facing dog. So find your down dog, hands or shoulders distance. Feet can be hip distance upright if you like or a little bit closer, that is fine. There's no right or wrong here, we're just gonna stretch some more, okay? Rolling your spine forward, tipping your toes, rolling it back. I like my knees straight first, as I really stretch my legs. Forward and up. Forward and tailbone up, but back bending all the way up. Good. Who feeling each vertebra here. One vertebra at a time. Roll. Breathing. Good. Now feet together. And I want you to lift the left leg as you breathe in. Three-legged dog. 
Good. Now we're going to even this feeling if your left leg is not as open, okay? You're going to drop the right forearms down and you're going to point that left uh, toe as you bend the left knee. Good. You're now facing towards the right side. Just stay there and breathe. Good. Uh, straighten the left knee, point the toes, stay there. Good. And you're going to drop it all the way to the left side. Slow and controlled. Flex the feet or the foot as you find that slow and steady drop. Beautiful drop. Now you're coming into this wide-legged stance. Adjust yourself. Breathe in as you find your flat back. And exhale as you fold. Stay in your fold. Good. Now we're going to shift our weight uh, left and right. Come to your halfway lift, flat back, and you're going to bend the left knee. Good. As you bend the left knee, you're going to drop slowly as you lift the right toes up. Heel is firmly rooting down, right? You should feel that nice stretch at the back of your right leg. And you're going to switch. You could switch with your hands on the mat. Okay, same concept. Left, heel down, toes are up. Good. Now switch sides. Again, switch sides. And the other side. Good. Whoo. More. We're just warming up here. We're not flowing yet. Well, it's already a flow, but we'll do some more. Okay? Switch some more. You got this. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to stay on to the right side. I'll meet you here. Sit on your right side and we're going to have that right knee out. Good. Reach both hands all the way left and right. Breathe in and exhale. You're going to bind. Again, if it doesn't bind, that's okay. Wherever you are, just try your best to open your shoulders. Good. All right, now from here, we're going to try a little bit of compass pose with this straight leg, okay? First, bend the right knee to have that right foot touch that left inner thigh, okay? From this position, you're just going to try to uh, bring that right knee in, okay? With that foot touching that inner thigh. So you're kind of like warming up this ankle, right? Just do that. You want everything to be really rotating and mobile. Good. Now from here, open sandwich really. Compress the body as that right foot is still touching that inner thigh. Good. From here, you're going to send that right knee to that straight. And I like, I like you to touch your outside or right foot with the left hand. And you're going to swing. So right hand will now sweep that back or just to wherever you can actually feel stable. Right? And you're just going to swing keeping that right knee straight. So if you cannot reach this, right, this is going to depend on our bone structure. You could grab your uh, thigh or not thigh, but like ankle or anywhere in your shin area, depending on you, where you can keep your knee straight and your torso a little bit straight up, right? And then you, you want to swing this, right? And left. Good. And I want you to get used to that swinging with a straight knee. Swing straight. Try not to bend the knee. Good. All right. Drop it. V-shape position. Good. Inhale. Reach up. And exhale. Just going to fold onto the forearms. Good. Heels pressing firmly down. Toes are up. Breathe. Good. Coming back up to sit up. Left knee bends now, okay? Now touch that left foot inside of that right inner thigh. Same concept. And then you're going to lift the knee up and down. Lift the knee and down. So you're just really feeling this from here. Like your uh, whoop, hip, hip joint, right? And then the ankle is stretching on the sides. Good. Keep on going. <laughs> You should feel that glutes really pressing firmly down. All 
All right, now steady here. Compress your body. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Grab the outside of the left foot with the right hand. Again, straighten the knee. Again, it doesn't matter wherever you could grab, right? Ankle and then grab. Left hand can support you behind as you swing left and right. I want you to get that full range. <laughs> Sorry, try not to drop like that. <laughs> I want to grab my foot. It's easier for me because I'm now very much like flexible heel and I can straighten the elbow and the knee. Good. You could also just grab here, right? Underneath the knee, just try to support it. If that's a lot easier for you, I just want you to get that knee as straight as possible. Good. Now drop it to that V-shaped position. Bend the right knee as you come all the way up to your skandhasana. You're gonna switch sides now. Left skandhasana. Try to uh, bring your hands all the way up and try to see if you could just switch faster. I know this is hard. Of course, if you can't do it, you always can just start with the support on the mat, right? We just warmed up earlier, but now this is great if you could switch it faster, right? This is now a workout. <laughs> All right, stay on the left side this time, and we're gonna stretch here in our skandhasana. Breathe in, reach your hands all the way to the sides, and exhale, bind. Peel the right shoulders back. Whoo! So good. All right, release and coming to our pigeon pose on the left side. So bend the left knee and we're going to pigeon, wiggle, wiggle the pigeon. Again, if you are uh, a little bit higher on your pigeon, you could actually just stay here because this is easier to bring the foot back up, okay? You could have the support with your hands on the mat and then fingertips as you bring the foot up, back foot for five, four, Three. Ooh, beautiful bird. Two. And one. Hold it there. Hold and send it as close to your bum as much as you can. Heel to bum. Hold, hold. Energy from the leg. Good. Plant your hands firmly down. Hands our shoulders distance apart. As you drop that back foot now, and send your left knee to your chest. Beautiful job. Inhale here. And then exhale, lift it up. Inhale here, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale here, exhale, lift it up. Good, we're switching it up. Inhale here, exhale, knee to chest. Beautiful job. Now you're gonna slide that knee down to the left wrist and slide it up. Down and up. Down, up, down, up. Good. Slide it all the way down, coming to your pigeon pose. Good. And then from here, same concept. We're going to stay in this pigeon. Uh, move that shin a little bit forward. Mo almost like an L shape now. And you're going to plant this left foot firmly down, the side foot, as you straighten the lift the hips up and straighten the front knee. Coming to this like pyramid pigeon stretch. Good. Stretching that IT band on the left side. Ooh, we're gonna even this out. Breathe. Good. Now from here, you're just gonna slide that left knee to your chest. Good. And then you're gonna slide it outside of the left hand, left foot. Good. Lizard lunge, drop the back knee and lift up. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop and lift. Stay there or keep on going rather. <laughs> Breathe. Who stay into your lizard high lunge and push, push down all the way, hollow your body. Hold, hold, hold. And step the left foot back all the way, high plank. Good. Now shift forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Push all the way up, up. Hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe. Now let's take a moment to rest here. Close your eyes if you need to. Okay. Now 
like your feet together. Okay, we're gonna prepare for a three-legged dog on the right side. Breathe in, right leg lifts all the way up. Point the toes, stretch it all the way. You feel that left leg back, whoo. And then slow and controlled, left forearm drops down. Engage your core, good. Now bend the right knee as you point the left toes to the left side, or the right toes. Now you're now facing the left side. You could even stretch as you lift that back heel, right? You're now coming into your tippy toes on the left side or left foot. Hold, hold, and in that position, you're gonna straighten that right knee. Hold, hold, stay there. Good, bend the right knee and all the way, push up, knee to your chest, hands now on the mat, beautiful. Now you're gonna slide that right knee down and up. Down, up, and just keep on going. Breathe. Last three, two, core is compressing, core is strong, you're working on the core. One, and drop to pigeon. Beautiful job. Woohoo! Ah, wiggle the pigeon. We're resting in our pigeon. You could even drop the forearms forward if you like. Sleeping pigeon. <laughs> hmm. Now, if this is comfortable for you or not, wherever you are in your pigeon, right? Try to lift the back foot, right? So let's see which is easier for you. You know, sleeping pigeon or like what we did earlier, right? which is easier for you to lift. This is such a great way to do an easy, active way of the pigeon with the legs, right? We're gonna do a lot of active in a few minutes here. Keep on going. Whew, so good. I just flow every day. <laughs> all right, now from here, all the way, lift your torso up back bend Ooh, maybe looking up okay now same concept you're gonna try to lift the back toes up okay now again this is not gonna be for a requirement for you to tap your head but see how much you can tap your head with your toes wherever you are it's good to film yourself so you can see right so if it helps right if you're here you could actually help with your fingertips to so lift yourself up so now my groin is up from the mat and I really peel my throat back. Whew, strong throat. I'm using my neck muscles as I tap my head with my toes. Good, so hold if you can. And drop all the way. Slipping pigeon. We're gonna relax for a little bit again. Any back bend is intense, so you wanna follow it up with either relaxing or counteracting. Breathe. Good. All right, from the pigeon, hands planted firmly down, curl the back toes under, lift the back knee and the groin area. Shin is now firmly rooting, rooted as you lift and straighten the right knee, right? Same, what, same thing what we did earlier. Pigeon stretch in a pyramid shape. <laughs> Who IT band, so the sides of your right foot, right? The pinky side edge is now rooting firmly. As you feel that, ooh, right? Ooh, spicy, love that. Good, bend the right knee, good. And from there, left leg will swing forward. Ooh, all the way, right? This is great. So we warmed up earlier, left and right, to do that thing. So you could do that. That's a great way because we don't really do that side with our legs. So I want you to get your shoelace legs, okay? And then you, you have your feet, hands, you're pressing your feet, right? It's a great way to really kind of massage your feet too. So as you press, lift your butt cheeks from the mat and then lift, bring it down. Press and lift, bring it down. Again, press and lift. I'm actually using my core here and down, right? So it's like engaging the core muscles, holding, good. More, 
All right, now we're gonna try a little bit of a compass pose first, but we're gonna do more, okay? So again, I mean, if you're always watching, you know this already, I like to grab the outside of my right foot. Otherwise, you could grab your ankle with the right hand, right? Opposite, so if it's the left leg, it's the opposite hand, right? The left hand doesn't really matter. Wherever you could find your balance, so anywhere here, left or right, or sometimes I like to cross it here. This is a lot more challenging, but I like to challenge myself, right? So there's a mul multiple ways to get into compass pose. You could lift the butt cheek up, left butt cheek. And as you lift the butt, left butt cheek, then you can straighten the left leg. And then you're going to thread your head and your shoulder or left shoulder to that left leg, right? So now you're hooking, you're kind of hooking this le leg to that shoulder, right? This is a great way to, I think it's most common, but I like to do it differently, right? Sometimes I just like to kind of like really get my legs straight first by doing this and then turning. See how you kind of like, woo, pivoting your uh, hip joint and then getting that hooking, right? So different approach, you can just find what works best for you. If it's not enough mobility or flexibility and you still can't get it, we're gonna do more, all right? From this shoelace, drop it down. Hands will be placed in front of you in the center of this like knee, right? Coming to the pinky side edge of both of your feet, you're gonna come all the way up, lift your hips up and straighten both of your legs. You're now in a cross-legged shape. Good. If your left leg is forward, mine is on the left, you're gonna spin your hands to the right side, half circle, as you also pivot your feet. Good. You're now facing the opposite direction. Beautiful. Lift for your halfway, flat back. Exhale to fold. Good. Now from here, you're gonna drop your bum, coming to your malasana, yogi squat, palms to your heart center. Beautiful. Good, now you can start a pulse this if it's still very tight for you. Baby pulses. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down, now all the way, grab your heels with your hands, wide-legged boat pose, point all the toes really energy from your core. Squeeze your core to keep your balance really good here. Look straight ahead and really firm your butt cheeks down. Breathe. Good. Now from this position, you're gonna try to switch and hug your backs of your ankles, okay? With your hands. Woo! Okay, keep that balance. Try to do this repeatedly. Keep that balance, right? As you lose in your hand, you will learn to really engage your own muscles and your core to keep this wide-legged boat, right? This uh, requires a lot of energy, right? But if you can now do this, now you're gonna straighten, keep your legs rather straighten as you close your legs all the way, coming into your full boat pose. Good, Navasana, straighten your elbows and then really looking up, torso is straight, finding that perfect V-shape with your body. Now I'm gonna teach you this really technique that I find super good. If you're like working on your uh, like pistol squat, if you will, if you want to keep your legs straight, this is helpful in a lot of things like bird of paradise, standing splits and all of that. Okay, so hold first your boat pose, Navasana, hands to your sides. From hand sides, you're gonna point all the way your toes. Now you're gonna lower down. You could keep your hands anywhere you could balance, hold, as you slowly lower down, and you could lower all the way down if it's hard for you to bring yourself up. Now from here, you will bring yourself up. Now do this repeatedly. This is gonna burn your quads, drop and lift all the way down, right? You could do that slowly or as much as controlled as possible or faster. Faster is a lot easier. Inhale, reach up, exhale to fold to your Paschimottanasana. Beautiful, hands forward, open your butt cheeks right and left, fully ground yourself here. Flex the feet, toes are up, heels firmly rooting down. Good. Now from this position, coming back to your Dandasana, L-shaped position, you're gonna bend the right knee, good? And then you're gonna grab the outside of the right foot with the left hand, straighten the right knee, okay? Right hand now will sweep 
all the way, drawing that horizontal line, facing now the right side. You're twisting your body. We're doing a lot of different approach, right? But like, I kind of want to balance my body, but in a fun way, right? So it's not all the same. Just so it's exciting. You can look to the right hand if you want to twist. I just can't because the sun, <laughs> it's like blinding. Good. Now from there, you could keep that straight. You could grab both of, um, with both hands your heel and point both your toes now all the way. Try to straighten your knee as much as you can, right? So if you're here and then you're, you're bending already, right? Bring it down to where you can keep that knee straight. That's already doing something, right? You don't really need to like do this and then you're now rounding and your knees straight bend, right? This is not really doing anything. You want to keep that torso straight up, knee straight, point the toes, form is good. You could even loosen that to really help you. You could just do this, right? Or you could do this. And then the left. Right? Left. Switch sides, right? And then you could hollow the body this way. It's a great technique too, to get your core working. Good. Now all the way, I want your right hand, right foot up. Now rotate the right ankle, just to kind of like let go of that like tension. And let's do the compass pose this way. With that left leg straight, we did it on the left side earlier, we're gonna do this right leg, okay? I want you to try to really straighten that right knee, right? From this, you're gonna kind of like swing. What we did earlier, you're swinging and then now you're gonna lift that right butt cheek, keeping that right knee straight, right? It's a great way to do a lot of ways. <laughs> now from there, hook that right uh, thigh to that right shoulder. Good. Now from here, you could actually drop here, but if you're like that challenge, you could bend the right elbow and right palm facing back. Right? Now, you, it's okay, it's normal to lean more onto the left side because your butt cheek on the right side is lifted. Good, you can stay there. Really work on stretching that right leg. Energy from everything. You're not relaxed, I'm not relaxed. I'm pointing my toes and right thighs. Who stretching, compass pose in a different variation. Stay, rebalancing everything. Ooh, and bend. Good. Now see and feel your body. I want you to stack your right knee this time onto the left. Earlier we did the left, right? And from there, we're just gonna press again. So notice I like to do this. <laughs> I'm pressing my, the mid center of my feet as I'm lifting my bum. It's like massaging your feet and also the glutes and just like, it's just such a great sensation. I don't know, let me know if it's good for you or not. <laughs> right, try to press whatever you can press in your feet. Good, breathe in, reach up and exhale, you're gonna fold. Go just to where you can and we're gonna rest for a little bit. back to sit up we're gonna stand up this way okay now all the way you're gonna cross again the leg coming to the pinky side edge of both feet now everything is stretching with the legs good now you're gonna walk your hands a little bit more forward straining your elbows right lean forward and you're gonna cross that back leg to the front of the other good and then cross the other one as you can get your feet together. Good, from your feet together, halfway lift, breathe in, and exhale to fold all the way down. Good, stay here for a little bit. We're gonna stretch more of our legs. Good. Focus, find your balance here, look down. You could always challenge your drishti, Right, wherever you gaze, you could look and it will change the balance. All right, bending the knee, grabbing the ankles now and leaning your belly to your thighs. Good, from here, you're gonna lift your heels up, tippy toes, hold, hold, focus, drop the heels, beautiful. Again, lift your heels, 
hold and maybe you're now reaching forward right now see if you could really work on your ankles toes are firmly rooting down and you're gonna lift your belly from the thighs coming to your utkatasana chair pose tippy toes balance here ribcage is in navel is drawing in it's a strong core here beautiful hold for a few more palms to touch and you're gonna come all the way up to standing position good now step the left foot forward and you're gonna send the right leg all the way back virabhadrasana three find your balance hold hold and drop the foot down again this time reach your hands all the way up and exhale, hands to your heart space as you lift the left leg this time, Virabhadrasana three on the other side. Good. Hold, hold, and this time drop the hands down. Good. From here, you're gonna straighten that left leg, finding your standing splits just to where you can, stretching the legs some more. Good, stretch, point that lifted toes all the way. Doesn't matter if it's not as straight or not as high, just to where you can use all those leg muscles. Hold. Good. From here, I want this to be stable, right? So finding that flat back, lift yourself up. You're gonna cross that left leg, that lifted leg to the opposite direction of to the right. So at the backs of the other. So you're crossing the legs, right? From here, you're going to bend the right knee. And all the way, if you can, grab that foot with the right hand. Good. Hold. It doesn't matter if you're way up higher, just to where you are. Hold. Good. <laughs> Whew. Now point the toes. Try to see if you could release and hold. Again, point and hold. Point and hold, point and hold. Beautiful. Now all the way, you're gonna swing it all the way back to your standing splits. Energy from all the legs. Beautiful job. Whew. Now let's take our vinyasa from here. Plant your palms firmly down. You're gonna send that left leg back. Okay, hold as slow and controlled rather and step the right leg back. Good, shift forward, chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Good. Slow and controlled, keeping your legs as straight as possible. You're going to walk your feet, baby steps towards your hands. Good. Now, all the way, heels down. This time, we're going to do the opposite leg. Okay? So, find your balance. I like my hands kind of like in a triangle shape tripod, right? Finding that balance. Now, you're going to start to just reaching that right leg all the way up. Good. Finding your standing splits and then your balance. Look down all the way. Hold five, four, point, point, point the toes. Two and one. Crossing it to the opposite leg behind, right? Keeping that right leg as straight as possible. And maybe you're only here. That's fine, right? And then you're going to touch this like this but if you could go all the way with that hand support then that's great you're sandwiching that right leg now with that left leg right from here you're gonna point the toes and release now flex grab Whew. now release point the toes good flex and grab point who you feel the whole stretch it's gonna bring your quads <laughs> this is great just keep on going. I love this. This is how I got into my um, dragon pistol. Dragon pistol squat. Keep on going. Until you feel like the you know burning sensation and you want to get out of the pose, you could just get out of the pose. Whoo! Okay. Now from here we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna not gonna kick all the way up. You're gonna slide all the way down and come into your figure four shape. Okay, let's reach all the way up. Inhale, exhale to fold. Stay there. Whoo. All right. Now from here, drop that foot. 
left foot down and left hand behind you and you're gonna send and cross that right arm to the outside of that right left knee just twisting your body here good from here straightening that left leg grabbing the left foot with the right hand right so kind of what we did earlier if you remember try to see if you could balance this way so your left hand now will sweep forward Ooh, drawing that horizontal line all the way and looking to the left so you can look to the left hand it's hard because of the sign so I'll just look here <laughs> Ooh, straighten that left leg straighten both legs point that right toes Woo! so good all right release and let's flow <laughs> if we did not flow yet right we flowed already all right finding your downward facing dog Good. Adjust yourself. I like my feet together. Ooh, let's take a moment finding stillness here. Roll your spine forward and then roll it back. Roll forward, roll back. Preparing to lift the right leg all the way up. Breathe in and exhale. Send the right knee into your chest. Good. Drop the right knee down and chest and chin down. Good. Left leg lifts up. Good. This might be a lot easier. If you've done this flow with me before, you will notice it might be easier for your leg. Drop the left leg down and right leg goes up, three-legged dog. Breathe in and let's flow it out. Roll your spine, one-legged high plank. Shift forward, breathe in. Exhale to your chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Preparing again, feet together as you lift the left leg all the way up. Breathe in and exhale, knee to chest. Good, drop the left knee down, right leg lifts up, chest and chin down. Stay for a little bit, hold and drop the right foot down. Step back to your three-legged dog, breathe in. Good, send it in, knee to chest. Good. Now you're going to send that left knee down. You're going to pivot that left shin to like an, about a 90 degree or 80 degree angle. Good. From this position, now we do our active way. Okay. <laughs> this is now our side plank variation on the knee. Right hand sweeps all the way up. Okay. This, is, this might hurt. So just first, we're going to slide our right foot. Okay. Forward and backs. There's no right or wrong here. Keeping that right hand straight. Good. You could even slide it back to your neck with this, depending on you. So just slide. You're not really lifting first. Slide. This is why I want you to get your socks on. Just keep on going. Five. And bigger. Four. Three. Bigger, sending it all the way back to and one. Okay, parallel again to the knee. From here, you're gonna lift it, baby steps. Flex that right foot, baby steps, and drop. Now you're gonna lift it with each lift, you will lift it higher. Okay, just try your very best. Now, all the way, maybe now you're passing your hips. Lift it up. Good. Continue, keep on going, keeping that right knee as straight as possible. Good. All right, now relax for a little bit and you're just gonna sit on your heel. Left, curl the toes under in the left leg as you sit on your heels, beautiful. From here, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a camel splits variation. So from seated position on the left leg, left, Fingertips will drop to the left side, and then you're gonna slide that right foot towards you. Point the toes, grab the heel with the right hand, and you're just gonna try to straighten this leg with your left heel on the butt. <laughs> or rather, your left butt on the heel. <laughs> you're getting me, guys. English is also not my basic language. <laughs> That's why I make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold. We're just holding, straightening that right leg. And you're curling that left toes under. It's also being stretched. 
good. Now you have the option to get out of the pose, drop it down, or if you are up for that challenge, we're gonna go straight to our half or camel splits this way. So I want you to kind of crawl that left fingertips towards the knee or a parallel to the knee, to wherever you feel that you could, you're gonna lift your hips all the way with that straight, okay? If you're a little bit iffy doing this, get out of the pose, okay? But if you are up, you could lift and all the way you're gonna stretch. See how much you could stretch. Whew. Good, stay there. Good, you could either look down or if you are really up to open up, I like my left toes now pointing back as I open up, chest is now lifted. Now I'm like scooting my left hand back to really open up the chest this way, right? Welcome to your camel splits. Breathe. Good, now all the way, drop it down slowly. And we're gonna come in transition again to that half um, side uh, plank on the knee. Good. From this position, have your hands to your waist and we are gonna lift the right leg up. So heel, uh, rather flex the right foot and lift it up. See if it's parallel to your hip. I want it as parallel as you can and you're gonna hold. Breathe. As you breathe, send that oxygen to that right leg as it's keeping it lifted. You feel that everything is burning, you're burning everything, I'm feeling it too. But hold it, you got this. Hold, 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 and point the toes. You're gonna send it back as much as you can. Bend the knee, grab the ankle, and open up the chest this way. Whew. That's a good active stretch. Everything we did there is super active. Congratulations if you did it, yay! I'm so happy, all right. Release and all the way, draw one straight line up. Good, now you're gonna try to ground that right foot firmly. You're gonna come up onto your torso T-shape with your hands, boom, good. Lift all the way, reach up and exhale. You're gonna come onto your knees, good. We're gonna do that on the other side. When you're ready, you're gonna drop the right hand down, side plank on this side, kneeling position, and left hand sweeps up. Good, now we're gonna slide forward and back. We're doing this a lot. Whoo, the sun is going down. Hopefully, is my battery still, I don't know. Is it still recording? <laughs> Yes, it is. Okay, keep on going and with each slide, just really slide it back, right? Working on that hip mobility. You got this. Woo. All right. Okay, now steady. Heel is parallel to the right knee. And we're gonna baby lift. Good. Now you feel, right? You're also working on the obliques. That's why this is like a full, full body. Obliques, you can have your hands to your waist. Now with each again, lift it higher. You could even come onto your fingertips here. Higher, 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 higher. Burning, burning. Burn it some more. Woo! And woo. slide the left foot towards you, coming into our camel splits. Woo! Heel, grab the heel, straightening that left leg. All the way, look to your left foot, point to toes, energy. Woo. And maybe grab uh, scooting this right fingertips back to open up the chest. Hmm. Beautiful camel splits. Everything is burning, but smile. Smile helps <laughs> to keep it less uh, tense. <laughs> Hold, you're just holding. Breathe. So good, I love the stretch. Ooh, keep the knee as straight as possible. You could actually grab the ankles too, depending on what you can reach, right? All right, slow and control when you're ready. This is gonna be a different approach, right? This is another active way. You're gonna loosen your hand without dropping the left leg, okay? Keeping it there all the way up. Hold, hold. Hold as much as you can. See how you could work on your active flexibility and you're gonna drop it towards the hip level. Flex the foot, stay there. Good, different approach, but same concept. Good, hold. 
it's burning, I know. I feel it too. And drop all the way down. Okay, left hand will drop down, shoulders distance apart, and you're gonna pivot that shin to that parallel to the sides of the mat. Good. From here, you're gonna step the right foot back, high plank. Good job. Let's take our vinyasa, shift forward, chaturanga, squeeze your elbows towards your rib cage, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Beautiful job, guys. I'm so happy for you. Yee! I'm happy too because I love that. <laughs> Whew, let's take a moment, take a deep breath in. Exhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> Good. One more time. Big breath in. Exhale, stick your tongue out. <sighs> Drop the knees and sit onto your Vajrasana. Sit on your heels. Let's find our center. Find stillness first. We're not done. We're almost done. Notice how your breath might be shaking. With each exhalation, you want that long exhalation to keep that breath steady. If it's shaking, right? Feel your breath. Intense, right? All right. For finale, we're gonna do compass pose <laughs> and see. So I want you to do it earlier because I want you to get a feel of how it is before and how it is now that we worked on that active flexibility, right? Okay, this is not a flow anymore. Okay, all right. So let's do it on the right leg first, okay? We're gonna do all the variations. Let's do left leg straight, left heel is grounded, toes are up, and then I want you to get onto that figure four shape. From the figure four shape, either grabbing the ankle or the foot, right? So this is, again, gonna depend on what your style is. Now strain the knee, swing it back, right? And bending the left elbow, thread your head first. Wait, can you hear? Oh, the mic, sorry. Thread the head, and from the thread head, now it's okay to have a bend in there, and then you're gonna hook that right shoulder behind that knee, right? There, good. From there, Straightening the right elbow first. And then you're gonna look to the left. So this is a technique or variation where your both sit bones are grounded. This is applicable when you're very, very much mobile now. Right, so right hand drops down and you're gonna twist and look to the left. I'm now leaning my head to my right leg, right? Ooh, and then straight, you're feeling that screw moment, you know, with your torso, like a screw. Right, that's what you want. Now all the way, point the left toes and look to the left and smile. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Good, release and you can actually hook this elephant trunk pose if you want. Let's do this. Lift the butt, so plant your hands firmly down, lift the butt cheeks and hold or hook and point the toes. Elephant trunk pose, beautiful job. Hold for a few more and drop. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Paschimottanasana, exhale. Last one, coming back up. Let's do that on the other side. Left heel firmly grounded and figure four shape with the left leg. Grab the outside of the left foot, straighten it, good. So kind of like doing this, right? Same concept. You're gonna thread that left hand to that arm and leg. Same thing, thread your head, bend the left knee to hook that behind that left shoulder. Beautiful job. From here, left hand will now sweep to the left. Strain the left elbow, everything is straining. Point the right toes and twist. You're screwing now your body to the right. Beautiful job. Good, straight, straight and stretch. Five. Breathe, four, three, smile, two, and a very long one. Release, hook, and bend the knee. Let's take our elephant trunk pose on this side. Good. 
hands plant firmly down. My hands now are a little bit wider than my shoulder distance because of this, right? And then I like to turn out my hands. This is actually safer for the wrist if your index fingers are pointing forward. Okay, now shift forward as you lift your butt and hook. You could hook that toe. I like that technique, right? And hold. Five, four, three, lift, 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 two, and one. Release. And let's take a deep breath in together. Exhale for your Pashimottanasana. You can relax and end in Shavasana. Whew. If you want some more bonus, let's do both leg variation on a bent knee. The sun is going down, but let's do this. Okay, from bent knee, all right, grab the outside of the right to, uh, foot and hook it this way. Right? You could just easily hook it. This is actually a lot easier, I believe, or for like, this is how I also started. And then do that, right cheek is lifted, right? Now you could do that on the other side, same thing. Grab the right foot outside and hook, lift the butt cheek and twist to the other opposite side. Beautiful job. Whew. Thank you so much guys for practicing with me on that compass pose. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you really feel your legs really kind of like opened up, getting stronger and do that every day or not every day, but you know, at least once a week, you'll get that strong legs. All right, I'll see you guys on my next class. Bye. All right, without further ado. Mm, stretch. Oh. Beautiful sunshine. All right, let's begin in three, two, and one.